Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Max Aroma haul. I got a big package in the mail from Max Aroma and I'm going to be partnering with Max Aroma to do a couple giveaways in this video, which the details to enter will be at the end of the video. As always, not too much of an introduction is needed. Let's just jump into the haul. I'll show you guys some of the fragrances that I got. Just so you guys know, if you're interested in any of these fragrances, I have a link in the description for you guys to check out Max Aroma and all the amazing perfumes that they have to offer. They have such a huge selection and out of a lot of the kind of discounter websites that you can buy from, I really appreciate Max Aroma's customer service. They have really fast two-day shipping on most of their products. And they also offer small, like 2 ml, maybe I could be wrong with the number, two, it's either 2 or 5 ml um, sample sizes, travel sizes of almost all of their perfumes so you can try instead of just, you know, buying a big full-size bottle. So I do really appreciate that. So anyway, guys, the first fragrance that I got was the newest release from Goldfield and Banks. This is Island Lush. So this is a very popular perfume house based out of Australia. And like I said, this is their newest release. I was very excited to try this, but I will say that I didn't really know a lot about the notes or anything in it, but I just had this kind of preconceived idea about what it would be because of the timing that's being released, you know, we're coming into spring and also with the name like Island Lush, I was really thinking something more tropical and fruity. That seems to be like a really popular trend that's going on right now with recent releases is just mango. <laughs> <laughs> musky, citrusy, like really fresh fruity fragrances. And this is not like that at all. This is actually a very woody fragrance. It's a very interesting take on this like tropical woody fragrance. So just to kind of give you an idea, in the top this has nutmeg and ginger. So already we're like getting into these like Christmassy, spicy <laughs> notes. It has bergamot and pink pepper in the top and in the mid we have some guaiac wood and iris and cedar and geranium with a base of vetiver, sandalwood, benzoin, and patchouli. And a very strong like leathery backbone to this fragrance. I say that it's a very sandalwood dominant fragrance as well. And I don't know if I'm just crazy, if it's like a placebo effect or something with the name being Island Lush, but for me there is almost this very, very, very slight coconutty fruitiness in the background. But it's not like a very sweet fragrance at all. It's like a very natural, very subtle tropical vibe, but it's there. But overall, it's a very woody fragrance, I'd say. I definitely get a ton of sandalwood and vetiver. I think it's kind of like the main accords in this with the maybe touch of nutmeg, but it is nice because that ginger and nutmeg really adds like this zinginess to it. It's also very, very creamy and very smooth. It's a very well blended fragrance and very unexpected. I'm kind of interested to see how this would perform in the hot weather, honestly. I wouldn't say that it's like the most new scent that there is like but it is really enjoyable really nice and the quality smells absolutely amazing and i'm still kind of in the testing phases of it but like i said i'm really excited to try it out in the next upcoming months goldfield and banks island lush and i'll be doing like a full review on this once i thoroughly test it out so next we have one that i have had on my wish list for so long it is the latest masculine release by parfums de marley haltane this is one that very commonly gets compared to Oud for Greatness, which I definitely need to do like a side-by-side -side review of the two. But this is so sexy. And I was wearing this the other day, testing it out, and I would just wear it myself as well. I don't know what it is about Parfums de Marley, but like, I think 90% of their fragrances are just totally unisex. I know they kind of have that masculine line with the bottles like this and then the feminine line, but I really think that they're all designed to be not only unisex, but to be layered together. It's really a beautiful collection and this fragrance is so slept on. I don't know, not that many people are talking about this one, but wow, is this a good release. It opens up with some clary sage, some lavender, a lot of lavender. It has bergamot in the mid, you have some praline and a lot of saffron. There's something about this that really reminds me of like Baccarat Rouge 540, like I really feel it's the same kind of sweet saffron that's in Baccarat Rouge. This also has some agarwood and cedar and it is just fantastic. This might make it onto my next baby maker list, I'm not going to lie. This fragrance is so sexy and just from what I know of Oud for Greatness, because I have a little small bottle of it here, I 100% prefer this over it, but I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. It's been a while since I visited Oud for Greatness, but definitely look forward to that video because this is a masterpiece coming from Parfums to Marley. Like I have wanted this for so long and I am so happy to have this because I will wear it myself and to smell this on a man is just jaw-dropping. 
absolutely elegant, classy, very, very sexy, and definitely deserves more attention. So check it out on Max Aroma Parfums de Marley Haltain. Amazing. Okay, so the next one that I got was one that I was really surprised by, I'm not going to lie. This is a brand that I smelled a little bit at Scent Explorer, but other than that, they're not um, in a ton of stores, I don't think. Like, this is a brand that you really have to like order samples of, but this is Elang and Gold by Mika Leff. And wow, was I blown away by this. This one is not a new fragrance. It's been out for a while. I think it came out in uh, 2012 or something. Like, it's been around for quite some time. And I was not expecting this perfume to be so good. <laughs> I guess it's like, the saying, you know, you don't judge a book by its cover. It's the same thing with fragrances. I feel like sometimes we can get really caught up in like the name of something or the packaging and kind of have like preconceived notions on how it's going to smell. Maybe that was the case with this one, but I was really blown away by this and it's definitely amazing for the late spring summertime. I'm going to be wearing it nonstop. I can already tell it's so beautiful and creamy. It has this like coconut milk vibe for me with some florals. There is a lot of fruit notes in this, but I don't really pick up that much on it. There's some peach in here, there's some lychee and some tangerine. There's also some like spice and herbaceousness from notes like mint, some sage, some rosemary, ton of florals in this. Obviously, ylang ylang, there's some rose, some magnolia in the background and some lily of the valley. And in the base of this is where that coconut is. It's just so creamy and beautiful and it just screams like summer vacation. This is definitely like a perfume that I would wear on a summer vacation on the beach in Miami. So basically every day, right? <laughs> but really impressed by this one. Going to be reaching for it a lot in the next upcoming months as well. Ylang and Gold by Mika Leff. So the last one that I received is one that might not be the most summer appropriate fragrance, but I was really excited to try it because I've seen a lot of reviews on this house. I haven't tried anything from them in the past. And this fragrance in particular has been talked about a lot by reviewers that I like to watch. This is Panettone by Milano Fragonze. This is really pretty. This is right up my alley. I'm a major gourmand girl. I love fragrances with this kind of like scent profile and I love the dessert anyway, Panettone. I love almond, almondy desserts, anything almond right up my alley. Just based off the notes in this, delicious. I was so excited to try it. So realistic, opens with some bitter and mandarin orange with some ginger and it's very, very present in the opening, but it's not like ginger that I've been smelling a lot recently in fragrances like God of Fire or Vibrato. It's not like that. It's more of this very like ginger cookie vibe, very dessert-like. It has carrot seeds in here. In the mid, there's some booziness, there's some rum and a lot of vanilla. It's very beautiful and very festive for me. It almost smells like, there's no almond notes listed in this, but like it smells like almond extract a little bit. Like if you ever cook anything with almond extract and you're just pouring it, like you know that smell. And it's very realistic. Like I said, absolutely beautiful. It's like a really delicious cookie. And if you love things like Italica, you'll really enjoy this one but it doesn't have this like, well, for me, <laughs> in Italica, there's like cherry. There's definitely like a cherry note in Italica for me, in my nose, and this is like that, but it doesn't have the cherry note. It doesn't have that overpowering sweetness that Italica has, but it's really like nutty, very gourmand, very beautiful. I love it. Excited for this for the cooler summer nights or maybe even later in the year, Panettone by Milano Fragonze and very excited to be meeting them in Milan next week. So now guys, let's talk about the giveaway. I'm going to say right now, it's going to be US only, but Max Roma sent me some discovery sets to give away to my followers in celebration of 10,000 followers. Like how nice is that? They reached out to me and they said, wow, Erica, we see that you're about to pass 10,000 subscribers. That's amazing. We would love to send you some discovery sets to do, to host a giveaway for your followers. I was like, yeah, amazing. I love doing giveaways. I love giving back to you guys. So these are the two discovery sets that are going to be up for grabs. There's one from Milano Fragonze, which comes with 10 of their most popular perfumes. And then the other one is from a house called Alcabra, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong, but <laughs> pronouncing that totally wrong, but really interesting house as well. So to enter, it's very simple. All you need to be doing is to follow me and Max Aroma on Instagram, and then comment your Instagram handle below on this video. That's all you have to do and you will be entered. I'll probably do the giveaway when I come back from Milan. So like, maybe like the last week of April. Yeah, guys, so that's my Max Aroma haul. Like I said, if you guys are interested in any of these perfumes, I do have a link in the description. It is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything, but I might make a small commission from 
any purchases that you make. It's just a way to really support me in this channel to help me grow. So with no cost to you. So it makes it possible for me to spend more time making content. So I really appreciate all of you guys. Like I said, please make sure to enter the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think about my haul? Do you have any of these perfumes? Are you interested in any of them? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.